The Los Angeles City Council has passed a new ordinance requiring landlords to pay relocation costs for tenants who can't afford higher rent. KTLA's Megan Tellis live in Hollywood to explain what this means for landlords who are also struggling to recoup uh, back rent. Megan, good morning. Yeah, good morning to you, Frank and Jess. There was a city council meeting yesterday. That new ordinance is in place, and I can tell you there are people for it, people against it. If you're a landlord, if you're a renter, it just sort of depends on your situation, but it is intended to help renters keep a roof over their head should rent get too high, but the responsibility is all on the landlords. Let's get into how this city ordinance work again after it was put into place yesterday during that city council meeting. Now, if rent goes up more than 10%, then renters are eligible to get more than $1,400 in moving costs plus three times the fair market rent for relocation assistance. The fair market rent here in LA for a one bedroom apartment is about $1,750. It's just over $2,200 for a two bedroom. This new ordinance is the last part of a package of tenant protections that the council wants to implement after it voted to end the COVID-19 local state of emergency at the end of last month. Now, the ordinance does have an urgency clause, but will not move forward immediately because two city council members by the names of John Lee and Tracy Park dissented or they disagreed with the majority in yesterday's 11-2 vote. Now, while those who disagree say this is putting just too much pressure on landlords, supporters of the new law say this will minimize some of the pressures renters have been facing over the past few years. Listen. And I do believe that this package gets us closer to finding that balance, which will help us to build more new housing and keep existing tenants in their homes and free of the pressures that they've been facing. We need to be doing everything we can to incentivize the creation of more affordable housing in the city. We need to be finding ways to keep small and mom and pop landlords in this city. But instead, we're going, we keep going for policies that place a huge financial burden, burden on housing providers, making it harder and harder to operate in the city of Los Angeles. So I've reached out to the executive director of the Apartment Association of Greater Los Angeles. This is to discuss how this new law impacts landlords and their rights. So far, no response, but I will keep you updated throughout the morning. That is the very latest. I'm live in Hollywood. Megan Tellis, I'll send it back to you for now, Frank and Jess.